Okay, you were at James Monroe High School. What happened? I got sick January 2nd, 2006 and spent about two and a half years bed bound in a wheelchair in and out of hospitals. Um, I didn't graduate high school and I knew I didn't want to work on my high school diploma until I was 21. I wanted to start working on college, so I decided to take my GED. I started at Germana in August of 2008 and took my GED January of 2009 after my first semester. Um, there was no way that I could have gone directly to a four-year school. I could, I could barely stand up, I could barely walk, I could barely stay conscious throughout the day. I took 10 credits my first semester and that was, that was almost too much. You were on a walker, you are using a walker right when you came? Yes, I had a, a very sexy blue rolling walker with a flip top seat. It was very cool. I put my books in it and hobbled around. Um, and then and everyone... And now you're walking. Oh yes, walking, oh, running. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm an assistant dance instructor up in Reston on Monday nights. And the thing I felt so comfortable about Germana was that nobody stared at me. Nobody laughed at me. I had been in a wheelchair for two and a half years, so I was used to the pity stares and the pity and dang on pity. I didn't get that here, um, especially my first English, my English instructor, Wojtek Dolinsky, didn't pity me for a second. He had us do an in-class writing assignment the second day of class in advanced, or comp, college composition once, English 111 we call it here, and I hadn't written in two and a half years, and I thought it was horrible. I got a perfect score on it because he saw potential, and then he pushed me. So I spent four four full-time semesters at Germana and I took five classes with him because he pushed me hard. He wouldn't, he didn't pity me for a second and if I was sick he would say okay we'll get better and then turn it in the next day. Um, and I really appreciated that and he really helped me get better because I was writing a lot about medical things and he told me I was going to make myself sick if I kept doing that and I had to stop and write about something completely different for the next paper. And that's what really pushed me forward and made me able to walk a bit what, better. What was the topic of the next paper? It was a cause and effect essay. I wrote it about point shoes and girls going on point too early um, causes... Ballet. Yes, I was a ballet dancer. I studied with Regina and Vadim Bogomola for about three and a half years. And I broke my ankle so I couldn't audition for any of the good schools. But I definitely missed it. and. Writing that essay reminded me that there was life outside of illness, which I hadn't seen for almost three years at that point. And coming to Germana really taught me that as well, because people were kind and they were very accommodating, but they didn't pity me. So I could heal and I could recover and regain my stamina without feeling pitied and without feeling like everyone was condes being condescending and brushing aside, oh, she's the sick girl. It was never that. If anything, I'm the six foot tall redhead <laughs> with the 4.0. So I was never defined by my illness here. And I really appreciated that. I don't know if that would have been the case at a four year university because I don't think I could have handled it. Um, I think I did pretty well here. I finished my associate degree with a 4.0. So I think I handled it pretty well. But that was only because of the environment. It's so supportive and so small. And you, you have instructors your first semester, and they're still smiling and waving at you and calling you by your first name your last semester here. Whether you're here for one semester or 15 semesters, it, it's a wonderful thing, I think. Um, we get such one-on-one -on -one interaction with our professors that a lot of students at four-year universities just don't have. And, and the end result end result. Um, I was able to get an almost full ride scholarship to Amherst College. So I'll be leaving in August of 2010 and I'll be studying for two and a half years up there in Massachusetts. It's, I think it's now ranked as the second liberal arts school in the country just behind Williams. They kind of, they're rivals so they go back and forth from what I understand. And I'll be graduating there in December of 2012. So I'm losing a semester of work because they don't accept some of the lower level courses I took at Germana, but I'm still able to transfer a lot of my coursework from Germana up to Amherst. And I'm planning to study English and possibly math. I fell in love with math here. I was always horrible at math in high school. And Mr. Nozoe really helped me fall in love with math because he made it make sense. So What do you plan to do career-wise? It's a very good question. Um, 
I was a teacher's assistant here last semester for the developmental English learning, developmental studies learning community, the first one. And I really enjoyed working with the students. I really enjoy teaching and tutoring. So I'm considering that. And I, I'm a writer, so I would love to be able to publish something. Though I know that won't pay many bills, so I'm thinking teaching. And I don't know if it would be English or math or both, but I do enjoy teaching quite a bit.